So in this video, we will be talking about uh, studies in Poland today. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching today. Thank you. In today's video, like I said before, I will be talking about studies in Poland and I want to focus more on Lazarski University. Yes, Lazarski University is uh, also one of the public institutions found in Poland and uh, as we all know, the capital of Poland is somewhere around Warsaw. Well, I really don't know where it is, but Poland is uh, one of those countries, one of those big countries. I think it's the fifth largest country in the European Union, okay? So, a lot of international students are moving to Poland these days, not because, probably maybe because of the degree, or let me say, the cheap nature of the tuition fee and the way the degrees are classified, all right? So I will be talking about Lazarski. Is it Lazarski? Yes, Lazarski University in Poland today. Before I even continue with this video, guys, um, I am aware of uh, what is happening at the embassy when it comes to booking of an appointment, the visa appointment at the embassy in uh, Abuja, Nigeria. I am aware of that, but there is nothing, unfortunately, nothing I can do, okay, to help the situation. But keep moving, keep pushing hard. Keep pushing hard until you get your own appointment, all right? I understand the days are fluctuating. A lot of people are trying to book an appointment. So if you try and it fails, try again. Try and try and try until you get your appointment, all right? Do not let it pass by. So again, a lot of people have uh, come to me and they are like, Milton, is there any university in Poland which is open for February intake of 2022? Can I start studies in February, March? 2022 so i went in and i was trying to do some research i realized there are a couple of universities um, found in poland that you can apply for admissions and you start studies in february march of 2022 as a matter of fact uh, there are some people i want to do admissions for but um, like i said not everything i am supposed to say here so you have to understand that not all the schools are open in poland as I speak right now, not all the universities are open and not all the programs are open as well. For example, right now I know of universities that are open, I think maybe just one or two or probably December, a few more will open for bachelor's degree programs, all right, where you can apply and study in, start studies by February, March of 2022, all right. There are some which are open right now and will be closing by the end of November, around the 30th of November. And most of them don't have bachelor's degree programs. Some of them, like the one I will be talking about, there are bachelor's programs and there are master's programs. Most of them will only give you master's admissions as of now, but some others will open as of December for bachelor's programs, okay? Again, pay attention to the admissions fee in Polish universities. To apply for a school in Poland, you need... To pay an application fee, it varies. Most universities have 85 zloty or zloty for the application fee. Some, like the University of Warsaw, 200 euros, all right? Some, like this university I'm going to be talking about, Lazarski University, all right? And many others. Again, remember, some schools have registration fees and some don't have. Like the registration fee for Lazarski University is 220 euros, okay? You pay attention to that. Do not forget. Now, if you must apply for a place to study at Lazarski University, like I said, it is possible for you to start studies by March. But again, try to contact the university to verify. Guys, I'm so sorry. My health is not uh, the best today. All right. So try to contact the university to ask if it's possible for you to apply and start a program by February, March of 2022. All right. My people from Nigeria, those of you who are asking me, when you watch this video, make sure you start applying immediately, all right? I'm still going to talk about another university that has just master's degree programs, all right? If you must apply for a place at Lazarski University, if you see me looking down here, know that I'm looking at my, my booklet, all right, or my jota. You should have the following documents in possession. First, your passport size photograph, all right? Very important. That is the document they will use to process your identity card, all right, your student identity card. Again, your application form, you will get it from online application. The link, every link in the video description box. Do not forget to click the link. There are so many links there. Check which one you need, all right? There is a link to my other YouTube channel. Check it. There is a link to my 
other website check it there is a link to my other youtube videos and affiliate links as well as a disclaimer i am not an agent to this university everything i'm giving you is based on my experience and research abilities all right so take that thank you so much the next document you need is your passport data page make sure before you apply for a university in poland your passport should be at least one year upwards it shouldn't be one year below because if you are applying for a bachelor's a bachelor's degree program before you apply before the admissions is out before you apply for the visa your passport will be rounding down to six months which is not the best thing to do don't do that original high school certificates all levels advanced level ordinary levels advanced level certificates very important for Cameroonians and other nationalities that write the GC ordinary and advanced levels okay the YX certificate, the Western certificate, very important for Nigerians and Ghanaians and other nationalities. These are some of the documents you need. The proof of English language proficiency. You may not need the proof of English language proficiency if you explain to the institution and you also prove that you have done English language and your language of tutoring. Or let me say your past education was conducted in English language. You may not need the English language test, all right? Proof of payment, payment proof of application. You need to, when you pay your application fee, you need to upload the receipt, all right? You need to upload the receipt. There is a place on the application portal you have to upload the receipt so that they can be aware that the university, I mean here, they, they can be aware that you have paid for this money. Health insurance, very important. Before you apply for the visa, you need a health insurance. And when you move to Poland, the health insurance expires. You apply for another one in Poland. And the price this time is going to be different. Okay? Verify from the embassy website which health insurance you need. Like I said, please keep pushing hard to get an appointment at the embassy. I cannot do anything in this case at this moment. All right? Remember, they are trying to upgrade the system. So keep pushing hard. To study in Poland, it is not expensive. If your budget is pretty low, let me say from 2.5 million and below, if you are a Nigerian Cameroonian, you can school in Poland, all right? If at all, you can pay your first tuition deposit. I think 2.5 million can carry you to Poland. But do not move to Poland with the, with the intention that I'm going to work and sponsor myself for the first semester. Make sure you pay your tuition fee, move to Poland before you start getting that notion. It is possible for you to pay your tuition fee, your own tuition fee, I mean your own, using your own hustle to pay your tuition fee in Poland. For those who are determined, those who are hardworking, stop listening from fake people who will deceive you, tell you you cannot. It is very, very possible. All right. I have survived in a country and I paid my own tuition fee in a country which is not even one third closer to Poland. Okay, the population was less than two million people and I survived. All right, so if you go to a country like Poland where it is almost 40 million inhabitants and a lot of industries, a lot of big cities, of course, you are going to survive. So, know that now that these are the documents you need for the application and probably the visa. Remember, for you to apply for the visa at Lazarski University, you must have paid the first tuition fee deposit and get a document from the university to show the embassy all right now these are the programs you need but before i go to the programs understand that there is an application fee and there is a registration fee of around 220 euros all right so verify that everything is on the link i will put in the video description box the programs you are going to be studying for bsc student you will do bachelors of art in economics they also have management lazarski university in poland also have international relations uh, business management finance and accountancy international relations all right and so many other programs okay now you are going to choose a program like i already said before when you choose the program there are various steps you are going to follow all right you choose a program you register online after registration you pay the application fee after application fee you submit your documents online okay very important submit your documents online remember to scan all of them in pdf files all right or scan copies pdf not jpg okay pdf only when you submit the documents they will process your visa and look at it sorry process your admissions and look at it if you meet the requirements they would grant you an admissions what do you do next you pay your tuition fee and you apply for the visa you move to poland for the msc programs they have programs like economics international relation international economics all right business administration they also have accounting and finance finance and uh 
leisure and tourism, sorry, accounting and finance, leisure and tourism and international relations. I mentioned that already, all right? So most of the BSc programs are also taught for master's degree. Now, you also need to understand that there are also Polish programs, all right? You can either study a BSc program at Lazarski University in Poland or a, an MSc program, all right? Or you can also study a preparatory course. There are some programs like medicine that will last for six years and it is taught in Polish. Now, for you to, as an international student to engage in such a program, you need to take a preparatory Polish course, all right, for, for getting you prepared so that when you go for your medicine, you can now study in the Polish language. I'm not saying that there are no schools in Poland where you cannot study medicine, where you can't study medicine in English language. There are schools, but remember, medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, most of these type of courses or programs will always be linked to the language of the country. In this case, I mean the Polish language. So you should at least have a knowledge of Polish language or Polish before going for such programs. So that is what you need to know about Lazarski University. Like I said, there is another university. I will drop the video as soon as possible, all right, so that you can apply. But note that application is going to run till the end of November. But there are some programs, BSc programs that are opening in 20 days time. I hope you understand me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it helps you, please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please subscribe and push the movement forward, alright? Until we meet again in another one. Peace.